now I'm sick and broken hearted And I know what that song means now well, I heard him sing old blues Sing about the music Hey everybody uh, We're going to talk about um, Drink It Like You Mean It today um, Drink It Like You Mean It's a song It's kind of a, I, I wonder if Merle Haggard Shuffle That was kind of my goal So that was what I was after with this And lyrically it kind of, I have to give credit to my buddy Jeff Burner Because we were drinking one night And discussing how Discussing whether or not it's possible to drink ironically. <laughs> kind of like, you're not actually drinking, you're just making fun of people who actually drink. But then you actually get drunk and it all goes to hell. So that's what the inspiration from the, for the song was. Drink it like you mean it. And it's, like I said, it's kind of a, it's kind of a haggard style shuffle. Uh, it goes like this. If you're gonna take that chair And if you're gonna be sitting there well, if you're gonna stay and keep me company We ain't gonna nurse no sip We're gonna get some past our lips You gotta drink it like you mean it here with me Drink it like you mean it like the serious people do And uh, there's nothing, there's nothing like a country shuffle if you're in a band, if you're playing a bar and no one knows you, it's different if they know your songs, right? It's all, every gig's different, but if you're in a band, you're writing your own songs, you're going to inevitably find places where you're playing and nobody gives a shit because they don't know you and they don't care. So there's nothing like a country shovel to, to get people off their butts and dancing. Even if they don't know you, don't care, whatever, that'll get them dancing. So it's good to have a few of those in your arsenal. Another one like that is Big City by Merle Haggard, right? I've been working every day since I was 20 I ain't got a thing to show For anything I've done and It's hard to tell just from me playing on the guitar But when you get the band together And you're playing a shuffle with the drums playing a shuffle and everything The bass walking, walking bass line uh, Instant dance party <laughs> So that's kind of worthwhile And we got Grant playing steel on this one so um, I'm not sure if I've ever talked about it, but Grant's fantastic because he plays about five instruments. And in my band, I'd much rather have one guy that plays four or five instruments than have three or four guys that all play. I don't really want a guy playing banjo all night or a guy playing steel all night or a guy playing fiddle all night. I mean, some people works for some people, but for me, I'd rather I like a really sparse sound. And the trouble is, if, if you know if someone's there to play fiddle all night, they'll probably play fiddle all night. And some some songs you just don't want the fiddle on, or whatever instrument you're talking about. So I find it really valuable to have Grant because he he's um he's able to play four or five different instruments, and it really changes the mood. And I, I really like a sparse sound. Like I don't want a six or seven piece band. I've always really liked sparse sounding music for myself. It's my personal personal preference. But um, so it's perfect because Grant's great because he'll he'll pick up whichever instrument. Uh, the song requires it, and I don't use a set list ever, I just call songs out as we go. So, um, we have a complicated, like, series of, like, baseball hand signals for me, so that near the end of the song we're singing, I'll give him a hand signal, then he knows what instrument to jump to next. So, uh, it's pretty wild and woolly sometimes, but every night's different, I never use a set list. And, and um, on this particular song, Grant plays the steel uh, very well, and, uh, and uh, helps it give it that old school honky-tonk feel. But, uh, yeah, drink it like you mean it. I'm out of Well, my legs are both been shattered, and I know what that song means now. My sons have both been slaughtered, and I know what that song means now.